Hello everybody and welcome or welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be demonstrating how to reculture your Grindelworm culture. And so yeah, let's get to it. Alright, so first, my Grindelworm culture. Most people, most cultures aren't this big, but we have a bunch of fish, so we have a really big Grindelworm culture. You can see there's a little bit of moldy food there. And um, every month you want to reculture your culture because it gets dirty. So two weeks to the one month mark, you want to start feeding off to one side. You can see I started feeding off to the left side. Um, and then the idea is all the worms will transition over to this side. So you can take out the dirt on this half, which I've already done. As you can see, you can see the bottom of the tank. So you could take out this half, or you could, I suppose you could move like all the dirt over to one side, and then you replace it with new dirt. So when I grab gloves, because I, I have quite a few cultures to do, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to make some coconut fibers, which I use the ones for reptiles, uh, organic coconut fiber bricks. So I'm gonna grab that. So I'm gonna be using this bowl. And then I have about a half a brick here. If you have like a regular sized culture, say something, these aren't norms, but something this sized, then you wouldn't need a whole brick. You wouldn't even need like an eighth of a brick really. So while we're waiting for that to absorb, I'm going to be taking the dirt out of my other culture because I will be making another one. So this is my other culture. I'm actually not gonna do anything to this one, but I will be, Hi, what? setting up another Grindelworm culture. I'm going to do it in one of these containers. This is like a Pillsbury, just a regular rectangle container. Um, I got this from the dollar store. So I'm going to be setting up another Grindelworm culture in one of these, and I'm also going to be setting up a White Worm culture in another video, because I have to split my, split my culture. So I'm going to be making another one, and I'll do that in a separate video. But I grabbed uh, just because the coconut fibers I'm making now are going to be going in this Grindelworm culture, the new Grindelworm culture, and then also my white worm culture. Because I use organic coconut fibers for Grindelworms and white worms. Um, this video in particular is just how to reculture your Grindelworms, but I will be doing a video on the care and setting up of them. So. Uh, be sure to check that out whenever it comes out.
so I have my coconut fibers made up. They look pretty dark on the camera, but they're not. And you want them to the point where if you take a handful, you squeeze them, you don't want it that moist. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a handful at a time, squeeze it out, and then put it onto this side of the culture. And then for the next two weeks, I'm going to try and transition, transition the worms from this side, because the worms are right here, currently right here. I'm going to transition the worms from this side over to the new dirt, and then in two weeks, I'm going to take out this this old dirt over there, just so your health, your culture can stay as healthy as possible. So if you let your culture go too long, then it gets really, really dry and you just can't keep it moist long enough, especially during uh, fall, winter season. Tag it down pretty well, not too, too much because the worms have to reproduce in there, obviously. But I have it all packed down, so... For the next few weeks, I'm going to start slowly feeding with the lid on it. I'm going to shift it over. I'm actually going to throw some food in there. You can use any flake food. You can use dog food. You can use anything. This is just some food that we won. Sprinkle a little bit on there. And I'm going to put the rest... Uh, if you... So I took the rest of the brick and set it aside before it got done absorbing it all, absorbing all the water. So I will be, um, I will be putting the rest of the brick in the water for my setting up of the grindle worms and also my white worm video. Those will be coming out within the next couple weeks. You'll just have to be on the lookout for those. So I like to use a spray bottle. You could just take a small cup of water and like drizzle it over the flakes, but I find the spray bottle works best. But not too moist to where it'll mold quickly. And the idea behind this is the worms breed underneath the, well, in the dirt. You feed on the plastic canvas, so a lot of the worms get stuck to the plastic canvas. But when they start eating the flakes, then they get stuck to this lid. So, press the lid down, and I'm going to take out this moldy food that's here. And just throw it out. And yeah, so in two weeks, I'll just be taking out this side of the, side of the dirt uh, once all the worms are transitioned over to this side. So that's pretty much it. Um, if you'd like to set up your own Grindle Worm culture, we have some available on our Get Gill site. There's also other sites online that sell them. Um, but if you would like to know how to set up one of your Grindle Worm cultures, I'll have a video coming out soon of me setting up um, this size container Grindle Worm culture. And if you're interested in other live food culture videos, I will be making some very, very soon. So you'll just have to, you know, subscribe to my channel and then you'll know when they come out. So thank you all so much for watching this video and I hope you all have a great day. I'm